systems are up and running. Hello there. Welcome back to Fate. My mic is done pitching a fit, so we no longer need to deal with that. Where is that Discord chat, though? Beep, beep, went the sheep. Beep. Alrighty. I have to attend. My mic has been thoroughly strangled. Good. Oh, it's excellent. That's what it deserves. I know, right? I'm only screaming internally. Does everyone remember where we left off last? Oh, yeah, we, we, we were all talking about it. Excellent. You guys were fighting. Lots of small mech boys. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we stopped actually at the top of the order uh, as you guys were basically jumping into this enemy base to full on assault them with sort of Nar bringing up the rear. And I believe we are at the top of the order with uh, Mr. Ryder. Is that correct? Props. He was at the top of the order last time. All right, good sir. What say you? Do you want to ask Daniel before we start or? We wanted to know if it would be possible to use my hacking slash burglary to inflict uh, damage directly. And by damage directly, she means like towards anything like mech wise. So interesting question. Traditionally, just like Aldris and Gigi, the only way you can actually hurt somebody is by, as per usual, using the shoot or fight skill. If you want to basically double dip on something that requires a stunt. If you want to hurt somebody, specifically using burglary, you would need a stunt for that. And the stunt would basically say, I can hack into the enemy, uh, not only creating advantages, but also damaging them. Something along the lines of that. That would be a stunt. Correct. Which you actually have a fourth stunt that you can take. So if you want, we can give it a really quick and dirty phrasing that effectively says (laughs) you can use burglary to hurt people. Yeah. Yeah, because I was was mentioning like, oh, uh, you know, other than, you know, doing all the invokes, you know, which are really useful. I feel like, you know, you're at a point where you're getting so good at hacking that you could like, you know, shut down people's stuff and like overload their computers and you know put viruses in and like really damage like anything like mechanical so if someone's in a mech i feel like she could just like destroy them but like internally so like they're yeah. just no way they could use their mech yeah she, she definitely could if you want a stunt for that nara you can go ahead and write up one really really quick and dirty and uh, you can literally yeah. just say <laughs> you can literally just put it as i can use burglary to attack and we'll just rephrase it later and we'll know what that means but yeah, I guess quick refresher before we jump straight back into combat at the top of the order. We have Mr. Ryder. What say you, good sir? The guy below me is th- the most hurt, correct? I believe so. Or I, forgot, also... I forgot. Oh, I just forgot who I was attacking last. So because I know uh, you killed I attacked them. someone. You said they were hurt. I just couldn't remember who. I think you killed them. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like I'm not trying to like, get like an edge up. Be like, tell me who's the most hurt. But I just forgot. Oh, no, you the, the thing is, you would know who was most hurt, uh, primarily because... I feel like it's the guy below us because he has the most shit on him, but... <laughs> so he's not hurt yet, but he oh. has two aspects on him, and if you invoke both of them, that's a plus four to your roll. Well, I'm going to go with him anyways. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I think, I think I mentioned he was basically charging at you because you look like the biggest threat. I think he's the one. He might not have been... Maybe the I am the biggest on you. threat. You ever so. think about that? Huh? I mean, maybe. Have you seen my armor? It's black, and I have fuzzies around my... Chest. Neck fluff. Yeah, neck fluff. Neck fluff. Neck fluff, shoulder fluff. I love both of them. Yes. Patton, pented, hat pented, whatever. My words Just fail me. Uh. So he has conductive goo and mm-hmm. what else on him? He has conductive goo and hands off, which is basically uh, Georgiana named it that. She basically has goo wrapped around his arms, so he can't use his hands to fight. I'm going to look at him and I'm be like, looks like you're in a sticky situation. And I'm going to like, point my sword at him perfect and then i'm gonna swing all right go for it i don't know why i made that so whatever <laughs> that well, was puns, a good run rider puns are nicely very done puns are very important if, if you're not going to pun at your enemy you're basically wasting your time and i'm going to use both invokes all right excellent so hands off was a boost that's going to go away and then conductive goo we'll go ahead and use one on those if you want to look at your actual roll in the Fate Utilities window, you should be able to do this without really too much issue. There are free actions here, and one of them says add plus two with a free invoke. I'm going to go ahead and click it for you, so don't click it. But you'll see in the future when you can use this, your six goes to an eight, and then it goes up again to a ten. Because you technically had two free invokes. Ain't that just the juice? Jeez, that's... Nice. I know, that's huh? That's up there. I know, huh? And, uh... 
unsurprising, good sir, as you rush this poor unfortunate soul, and he attempts to defend himself very poorly, I might add. That's six shifts of damage. He is going down. How are we doing this? I'm rushing at him, and I, I see him, like, trying to struggle because he's, like, panicking because I'm, mm -hmm. you know, speeding at him, and I just, like, slice him up, fruit and just thought, oh. <laughs> right. And I'm like, you're all sliced up. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I also will add this for you really quick. The way attack works in this game is the higher you roll, the more damage you do. Nice and easy. When you succeed with style, which you succeeded by six shifts, that's quite a bit. That's more than three. You can choose one of two things. You can choose to do all the six damage, or you can subtract one from your damage and give a boost to yourself. Do I still kill him if I do that? I will tell you from the knowledge you have of last game, yes, that's enough to kill him. Okay, then I do that because I want another boost. I will give you this option, if you wish, on top of that. So you can take a boost, of course, which will give you a temporary plus two when you want it, or a reroll. That's how they work. Or you can get rid of the lightning rod that's basically holding you down to the enemy base area. It, it's, it's got you stuck. If you want, I'll let you also remove that for free. Uh, you said either add a thing or take the rod of, for me? Yes. So as a reminder, both Ryder and Nara, you're not pinned down, but there's a lightning rod basically pinning you down in this enemy base area. You cannot leave this area if you wanted to. You can shoot people, of can course. I use, can somebody... I mean, would touching it electrocute you? Not if you roll well enough, which won't be very high, I'll be honest. Could somebody use it like a javelin? Yeah. It, it's a literal lightning round just like sitting on the ground, so one of y'all could pick it up and jug it. That's what I want to happen. I don't just, have the skill. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you don't have the skill to do that, do you? Uh, Ryder, do you want to gain yourself a plus two or remove the lightning rod? Up to you. Gain. So I can still shoot people. Yeah, indeed you can. Alrighty, and with that, the enemy's looking to deal some damage. And this lad right here is going to, unsurprisingly, uh, go ahead and target uh, Nara. He's actually going to move in, though. Man. So he's going to bum rush you. F that guy. F this guy in the A, Cotton. Georgiana. <laughs> Come save me. <laughs> All right. He's, he's going to draw. Are you coming? I'm on my way, Shikabu. Dual laser blades and just, like, dash at you in his mech. He's going to attempt to, well, dismantle you to the best of his ability. Wow, laser blades. And all right, go ahead and roll me some pilot, Nara. Dodge. Ooh. Not great. All right, sounds I'm, about right, honestly. Sounds all right. I am, of course, going to use both of these. So he is essentially going to dive in. And unfortunately, seeing that one of these mechs has you suppressed by fire, and you're also being held down by this lightning rod, I'm completely out of eight points, and those no longer have any free invokes. But that is That's six. Such a jerk. Yeah, that is six shifts of damage, though. Six shifts of damage. I already had. Oh, oh, I was trying to remember what the what the word was. It's shifts. Now um, I think mental, not physical, means you can take mental stress in place of physical stress. Yeah. Is there any way that I can help, like decrease that? You already took your turn, so no. But I would say if Georgiana and Aldris wanted to do something, you could convince me to somehow protect, eat a portion of it. Uh, something along those lines. I'm going to be honest with yet. you guys. I no longer have a mild consequence. Georgiana wants to rush in with her chainsaw. Okay. Will that help? Uh, yes, I can say if if you want, this is not much for Georgiana. I'm going to ask you because your friend is close by. Basically, roll pilot as you do. And I'll tell you to beat a three. And basically, if you do beat that, I will let you split the damage with Nara. Oh, that's it. I equaled it. Uh, well, sorry. When I say beat it, I just mean equal it. So, if you meet it, you beat it. Good job. <laughs> Go ahead and describe what this looks like, Georgiana. I rush in with a giant arm chainsaw mm -hmm. and just wish through this guy's back in order to, to try and distract him. All right, excellent. And potentially kill him. Uh, so, he's able to kind of dodge part of that, and he'll lash out at both of you, but it makes the move less potent. He does, he's not able to fully focus on Nara because you're jumping in the way, Georgiana. So I will say you that... You said I take a three, right? Yeah, so the two of you okay. just take three shifts of damage. Only three? Only three, and you can put that in your mental because you have these... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Considering I attacked you, I think it's only fair if you go next. So this guy that's on, on me now, what's he look like? This is one of the more standard-looking mechs. It's more, he has more of a humanoid shape to him. Aesthetic. Uh, what? <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. I, I heard authentic, and I'm like, is that a word that I'm unaware of? Apathetic. I thought you said apathetic. I'm like, what? 
pathetic. I was going to use for that moment. No, I would like to. I mean, how old does his mech look? Didn't you say they look shiny, but like they haven't been used at all? Yes, they've not fought much, which tracks considering the locals here cannot fight back. It's a pretty old model. I'm not sure I'd say old, but he's not up to date, primarily because he doesn't need to be, but that could be his downfall. Can I overload his system so that it like short circuits and electrocutes him? Uh, definitely. Are you, are you going for damage? Yeah. You most definitely can do that. And that would be burglary? That would be burglary. How'd that go? Damn. Uh, one shift. It's not zero. Well, yeah, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm new to the damaging directly thing. So while you're basically trying to test this out, you're basically trying to like fry his systems and damage him? I want if his systems to get fried. Okay. But you also to electrocute him in the process. Yeah, you don't full on get in there, but you definitely do a pretty healthy amount of damage. And you can see after he finishes quick slash slash with the like laser knives he has, he the whole mech actually just kind of just like shakes real quick. And you can see some nice. like lightning arc from where the cockpit is. And while you didn't Beautiful. do too much damage, you can definitely tell you did something to him. Nice. I'll do better next time. I will go ahead and take this top mech boy. Uh, he's held by plants. I'm going to have him use his cut skill. To try to get out of it. He's not going to get out of it. Okay. I'll say he'll kill one of the free invokes, but he's not going to get out of it. He's still held by plants. All right, Aldris. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, can I attack a uh, plant boy from here, this one? Of course, yeah, with a range attack. Well, I want to, like, have the plants kind of, like, squeeze his mech. Okay, you can definitely do that. Some good old mech squeezing. But he's, like, half held by them. So if you want to give him a nice squish, you're more than welcome to do so. Give him a good squishing. And roll terribly. Indeed. <laughs> Are we boosting anything here, or...? Nah. Nah? Okay. I was gonna spend a fate point to invoke the plants if uh, I rolled well, but that was a terrible roll. All right, no worries. But not this time. Well, we, we will say this, unfortunately, tracks pretty well. As he is attempting to remove the plants, as you would like try to squeeze him, he's able to, we'll say like, we kind of weasel his way out, and maybe they like snap at the air, and he just barely dodges it. And then it should be the last enemy on this list, the one that has a pant plant holding. He's pretty much half held by plant. So he pulls like a one time use item, and he's gonna try to burn the plants. Whoa. But if he rolls too low, he's gonna hurt his friend. He did not roll too low. All right, so he'll use his turn to basically free both of them. So his pants are no longer held by plants. And not only that, he is also... I'm going to put him in a separate zone just outside the defended zone. So he's... I'm not making a new zone just because it feels silly at this moment. He's in the defended zone, but he moves back a bit, kind of like on top of the base. And he's pretty strictly behind various barricades and pillars. So it's much harder to reach him in that exact location. Back at the top of the order. I mean, Ryder can go. That's fine. All right, bud. What you got, uh, what you got, dog? I'm going to attack him. Okay. Then. What's, uh, what's like around him? Like, what's, what are we looking at in this general direction? We're looking at various barricades. So they're at, you guys are at the, I'm, I'm not going to say the mouth of the enemy base. You guys are basically leaving the jungle-like area and moving towards the mouth of the base. He's not in the base proper but he's in a more defended area. So there are various barricades. You can tell that many trucks and ships come in and out of here to drop off various products. So he's basically hiding behind pillars and such that are probably used to defuse line of sight. It doesn't give him specifically any like advantages, but this area is fairly open, mainly because it looks like a shipping docking zone. All right, so here's the plan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, because I'm stuck by lightning, I'm going to like turn to him, you know... Powering up in Dragon Ball Z. I'm vaguely aware of it, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to get in like that stance, but then like my shoulder blades are going to like pop open and I'm going to shoot like two missiles off at him. To Hell shoot. Yeah. Get to blast and bud. Okay. And just because you rolled so <laughs> shitty, I'm going to use my on fire. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Alrighty. Uh, unsurprisingly, you're going to take down this lad. What does that look like? So I'm going to just imagine rock music going on right now. Uh, always. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to turn at him and I'm be like, tss, tss, firing my missiles. <laughs> if I'm all laser beams, I'm just kidding. Uh, my shoulder's going to pop open and you see like just two missiles just go 
he's jet off to him and he's just like huh, 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 and they're like both like coming at him at like separate angles and they just pull like kind of sandwich at him and just explode him in the fiery blaze yeah, excellent yeah yeah he probably tries to like overcorrect and go one direction but you thought ahead and there's already missiles coming at him from said direction the boy is mulched not a great look mulched. not a great look i'm gonna look at not the gonna, team and give him a, a robot thumbs up Ryder, who do you want to go next gg gg okay gg what you got I choose my bubblegum pop, which I have just now created on the spot. Excellent. Can I jab like a little, I don't know, peanut sized contraption into one of the wrenches I made with my chainsaw? And then it will, you know, like, 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 like when you're blowing a bubble bubblegum, it blows up. Yes. Can I do that? <laughs> what are you trying to do though? What? <laughs> Your chainsaw and a peanut and. Okay. You're really so, excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So. With the chainsaw, I should have damaged something, right? Yes. I want to take like a little something, shove it inside one of those gaps, and then activate it so that it kind of blows up from the inside out. So you basically want to put an expanding bubblegum ball inside the hole of one of these mechs and have it expand? Yeah. I thought that's what... So <laughs> through what you said the first time, that's what I thought, because I know you, but I wasn't sure if that's exactly what you wanted. Yes. I love the idea. It's great. May I ask who you're targeting with this wonderful maneuver? The only one I've attacked with a chainsaw. Sounds like a plan. All right. He turns to you in order to avoid this disastrous fate. And he has no idea what's coming. What are you talking about? He, he really doesn't. Would this be pilot or fight? This doesn't really feel very piloty. I mean, combat pilot. So it's pilot no matter what. Okay. We're inserting an explosion into this lad. All right, you succeed by three, so your choice is to apply damage or subtract damage by one and give yourself a boost. Sure, I'll use a fate point. All righty. We're bumping up the juice to a seven. Surprise, surprise, that's enough to turn him to spaghetti. Go ahead and describe this absolute bananas <laughs> maneuver you're pulling off. So the armor just kind of creaks and then starts to pop out and then creaks some more and pops and then explodes. All Outward. right. And there is, is it pink bubblegum? Yes. There is just pink bubble goop everywhere. Bubble goop? Bubble it's, goop. It, the idea was I wanted to blow him up, but I didn't want to uh, get my girly caught in the explosion at the same time. So it's localized. Fair enough. Fair enough. So like when he blew up, did it look like it, someone was blowing a big bubblegum? Yes. Bubble? Yes. Yeah. Basically a giant... <laughs> bubblegum bubble was blown inside the middle of this mech because Georgiana planted some Eldritch device inside of him, and that happened. So anyone watching was either probably half horrified in, and in half fact, that's kind of funny. I, I want to say that they might have seen like pink bubblegum coming out of some of the cracks before it finally popped. See, that's both like Gross. funny and horrifying at the same time. <laughs> that is, is terrifying. <laughs> that the maniacal laugh. And also, the guy that was uh, suppressing you with fire is now dead, so that's no longer relevant. Also, also, after you do that, Georgiana, they are not feeling that general vibe that you're just kind of letting off. Just blowing up people with gum. Incredibly confused, not even sure why they're being attacked. The individual that was effectively jumping back to probably defend himself, it seems he no longer wishes to be here. So he's actually flying, he's jumping off on his turn and just flying into the base. Thanks for showing us the entrance, sucker. Yeah, you guys definitely know where the, oh, where the he, entrance he is. Oh, he ran? Oh, yeah. Okay, first off, we're going to go get how him. Dare. Yeah, how dare he? Chicken. So just to recap real quick, this building that we're attacking is over the other building that they had, right? Like their castle thingy? They believe so, yes. I was just making sure not to blow this up like the other building. Yeah, <laughs> that's important detail. <laughs> yes, there's a very large... Metal structure, when I say large, I do mean very large. Your mechs can easily fit inside. Ships can fit inside. So it's we're out of combat things. right now, right? Technically, yes. All right, I'm going to look at Nara. I'm like, hey, Nara, you want to hack these lightning rods off of us? Oh, yeah, I do. Can't is that a real question? Since we both no? have them on us. Yeah. Or could I just shoot it off of me since we're out of combat? Can yes. I pull it out? Yeah. yeah you can probably can, just pull it out. Considering we are out of combat, you guys can fairly easily... Dispatch of these and or, you know, hack them off of you, whether you uh, hack them with a sword or with your brain skills. Did you did you shoot it like a javelin? How how did, did it blow up? Oh, yeah. The owner of it is long gone and it, it didn't deactivate. So you probably just like pulled out a pistol and just shot it and just exploded. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, the, the explosion Yo. was large enough that if it happened near you, it might have hurt a little bit. Not too much, but definitely a little bit. But once you're, you know, no longer under stress, it was fairly to dispatch of. And I will say this, you guys are currently not being shot at, but you can hear the alarms in the base suddenly go off. So they're aware that you're here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I know we're technically in the middle of a scene. I'm going to give each of you one fate point just for basically Yay. passing that. So each of, each of you get one, but you're still going to keep all your stress because you guys are still in combat. Well. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep you in the zone <laughs> enemy base until something uh, effectively changes. So looking about you guys, hearing the alarm goes off, what do you all do? So we can either kick down that door, There's guns no door. blazing, or we can try to find a alternative route. Oh, What's the alternative route? I don't know. We have to look. <laughs> Damn. We must find it. it is I got ahead of myself. I can't visually see this this building that we're at, so I don't know if there's Wait, another door are, or. Are you tell me that Nara can't do like an like a quick scan of the uh, geographical structure. You know what? You know what? Maybe you should do it yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nara, GG. that's not my specialty. Could be if you tried hard enough. It's not. <laughs> yeah, if you just believe, GG. <laughs> I, I'll, make, cards. I'll make that, you a uh, earth flavored lollipop. <laughs> you uh, need a dirt flavored lollipop? Thanks. It's earth uh, flavored. Yes. I said earth. Dirt. You're dirt. Wow. No, wow. you're not. I'm sorry. I'm was... sorry. Next time I won't save you. <laughs> no, you're not. That I'm was sorry. Uh, you barely you, uh, stop. I didn't mean it. <laughs> um yeah, I'll do a scan. To be fair, my brain also kind of nice. Huh? Because burglary, yeah. Don't oh, worry about it. It's okay. Burr. Yeah, bring go burr, basically. It's if it goes burr in the other direction. Looking around, Nara, I will say the four of you are on high alert because you you know that the enemy knows that you are here. While the three of them are looking out and giving you time to do this, Nara, you're able to find that, of course, if you wanted to, you guys could very easily go in the front door, as you can see. The somewhat complication is upon scanning this area and kind of checking out what you can, looking upwards uh, before you get too far into your scan, you can see that various ships that were in the stratosphere are beginning to come down. The same ones that blockaded you guys from entering the planet in the first place. So it looks like they have been already responding to this call. Okay, we need to get the heck into this building before those things come down. Before the alarm came off. In terms of entrances, though... You're not really seeing anything too useful, primarily because this place doesn't need a secret entrance. It doesn't really need anything too crazy. And well, do they have like a docking bay or anything? Yeah. On on that note, it's almost too open, actually. Like suspiciously? No, not suspiciously. Maybe just lack of just like they don't have the funds or something. So you're not sure if it's a lack of funds or I think it's because the... they're not worried about getting attacked. Bingo. Uh... No, no one should be down here. And the locals cannot fight back. So this base is basically... So when I said there is no door to kick in, that is partially what I meant. If you guys look okay. into this like landing strip, it's literally like a landing strip, and you can see into their base. There's no like doors closing or anything. I got this plan. A terrible base design. So I'm going to put some bombs on the door that he went through. Aldris, you supercharge him with your magic abilities, and we're just going to blow it up. And then go inside and hopefully the smoke and the explosion is like, ah, distracting enough for us to take them by surprise. That is indeed a possibility. I mean, works for me. Yeah, I don't know I mean, if I've ever supercharged a bomb, but I can try. I uh, fly over to the door and I start setting up some charges. As you set those up, I'll, I'll just say I'll just roll because you, you're using some of the bombs that you brought with you. Those don't really require any roll. You are slightly under pressure, but nothing major. I'm literally sweating right now. Just kidding. I stay cool under pressure. <laughs> Do you know who I am? You're right, her. I'm her. <laughs> the greatest, greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy. All righty. Yes, with, no, right. <laughs> with the assistance of Mr. Aldris, you are indeed able to effectively expand the oomph of this explosion to create a large enough smoke screen that the enemy's landing will have an issue seeing you guys as you enter this base. And enemies moving forward will also have an issue. And I'll say on top of that, rather than obviously you are smoke screening yourselves as well into an area you do not know, 
I will say, Nara, once you sort of realized that there's no secret entrance, because I just didn't really need to plan for one, you were pretty easily able to scan effectively the actual entrance, and then, I won't say a hmm. room in or so, but like, they're not really rooms, a good portion of this space. And you can see that it does indeed go down. There are no stairs, but there isn't a, a decline that kind of just goes down to the floor below, where they're storing various crates of question mark something. Question uh, but mark? Yeah, but because of this, you can, Nara, basically map out the area and then send this map to your allies so that even in the smoke, they can basically have their display change to like a, you know, a HUD digital version of what the, the room should look like. So it, it like superimpose it over the smoke. So you guys won't see smoke or anything. You'll just see what the room should look like. Think of it like very no, Tron looky. So. Kind of like it's like a scan of the room so we can, even though there's smoke, we can see kind of through it with like, Digital scanning. Correct, yeah. All right. Uh, so with your skills, Nara, Aldris, and Bombs, Ryder, you guys are able to create this pretty crazy distraction as I assume the four of you zoom on into the base. Wait, it blows up already? I wanted yeah. to do a thing. Sure, what are you doing? We're winding. Uh, I'm just looking at the group. I'm like, Aldris, ready? Uh, yes, maybe. This is my favorite part. And then I press the button and boop. As it's exploding, uh, Aldris, how are you like spreading the smoke? Like, just get it everywhere. Kind of kicking up some wind, like maybe a little mini tornado spreading it around. Nice, nice. Alrighty, and with that, we do have indeed thorough coverage, and the four of you can move in quite easily. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jolt in after that. Everyone is following, I assume. Absolutely. Yep. Excellent. All right, you guys have entered the enemy's base. I will go ahead and keep you in this zone, and when things are broken up, I will just make more areas. As you guys are sort of uh, trundling about, Nara's Tron-esque display comes up, and. Uh, while you guys are indeed surrounded by smoke, you can see the room quite clearly. And on top of that, you can see that there are indeed a few enemies here. They are prepared for you, but they were not prepared for whatever that just was. Darn right. You guys do know that your mission, your objective, lies lower down in this space. Looking on this first floor, the ground floor, the enemy is still recovering from the explosion from you. If you wish, of course, you can fight them, but there are, uh, we'll say a quick scan reveals there's maybe like six enemies. They seem to be anywhere from about the same tier to slightly worse, but you guys no, can, them. if you wish, to send down to the next floor. And, you know, they might, they might, they might follow you, but you'll, you'll basically get past them all. You know that there are definitely more enemies I want to kill here, that, so. that chicken. A quick scan reveals that he has, he's not in the room. These six were already waiting. Oh, it's fine. I'll just take out the ones that are distracted and confused. Uh, the three of you, do you wish to fight or do you want to push forward? So now you want to continue down to the, it's going down, but we'll say second floor. Yeah. All right. Uh, and Georgia and Aldris, how about you? Second sub level. Basically. Follow Nara. Okay. Aldris? Yeah. The three of you go down, and while we'll say about six or so enemies are, we'll say, distracted for now, Ryder, I'll ask of you. <laughs> Roll me your fight skill, I'll say, three times. We'll just do it really quick. <laughs> Very nice. Whoa. Fuck. Wow. Wow, Jesus really? <laughs> Christ. Okay, my best rolls ever. What? Oh my god, those are amazing. I rolled a six, a four, and a four, the plus two. That's insane. Okay. So, Fate, both Fate and the game, decided that for whatever reason, I guess none of them take damage except for the last one. He takes one shift of damage. So you're able to move in and we'll say because it's their base, because they are prepared and they are still in a relatively defensive position, Ryder, it is difficult for you to really get in there and do the damage that you want to do, but you are able to scuff up the third one. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, I I'm sure those are my best rolls ever and they're going to be gone, so everything forward will probably die in one hit. I'm probably going to be in the negatives the rest of the night, so. Sounds good to me. Yeah, all right. But yes, we'll say you're able to cause uh, a decent amount of ruckus. And the three of you going down, you can see that the smoke has not billowed it down here, if you will. And moving into this first subfloor, uh, your scanners, Nara, do indeed let you know that one of the uh, particular individuals that decided to kind of, you know, scooty, 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 booty away is actually down here. So one of them... What's his location? Uh, you guys have effectively moved down to the first subfloor. And looking about to your left and to your right, you guys can see all, like, all, all, all types of crates. All metal. They're stacked up against the walls. 
You see tons of wood. You see ore. This this basically isn't a processing plant, but this is where a lot of the processing is done. Uh, it looks like something reacted quickly. And when I say something, I mean the entire room basically shifted into all machines off, not off off, but like defensive mode, basically. So well, this is suspicious. Yeah, there's like a big machine that was like cutting wood, and it's still cutting wood, but it's it's cutting slower. And there's like big metal shields around it, and the the shields have to basically go down for it to put a hole in their log in, and then the log, then the shields come up, and the log is cut, it's and the shields come down. Bizarre. So it's bizarre. It's moving much slower, uh, but it looks like they are relatively prepared for your guys' attack. And looking around the room, you can indeed see there are some folk here that well don't want you here. So there's bad guys down there as well? Everywhere. This is their base. Jeez. Can I just do a sticky bomb in every direction? You most definitely can do that. I will say one more thing. Looking across this room, it continues back and back and back and back and back. And you can see what seems to be a combination of a glass and metal wall at the very, very, very back of the room. It looks as if something is being protected back there, but it's difficult to tell what it is from this distance. So th- this I might mean, does it look be... like they're going to attack us? Uh, or that they're so ready they... to defend? Both. They don't want you to be here. Right. Is there any guy who looks like he's in charge? As the three of you go down, after you do what you did, Ryder, I'm assuming it was basically a quick hit and run, and then do you zoom back down to the bottom floor, or do you kind of want to poke at those guys a little more? Can I tell how many of them look like they have worse robots than the ones that we fought out there? I will say basically all of them. I stay. Fair enough. Are the robots down by us shabby looking too? They look to be a little better only because there are four of them. But in particular, there is one that looks nowhere equal to yours, of course, because no one can be. Let's be honest. <laughs> I know. Have you seen Gigi's robot? Exactly. Too stylish. Have you seen too my fashionable. robot? <laughs> the one that I built by hand. The mm-hmm. stuff that I put on Georgiana's mech that she definitely doesn't know about. <laughs> what? Huh? That's not fair. What? You're supposed to tell Is me. Is it just me or does does Aldris's not trying to take away from your 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 Seth, but when I see your your robot bird, it reminds me of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers yes. movie. Yes. 100%. Perfect. 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Like 900%, that is the the White Ranger, right? Or was it someone else? No, it was the Pink Ranger. Oh, the Pink Ranger. Didn't the White Ranger have a bird? Yes. It's, oh, Did yeah, you, yeah, no, yeah. Do you remember so. when they had the dinosaur bots? W- which dinosaur? The dino ones that looked like. The, so, the, I remember which the pink, Well, Green Ranger had the, so the, big, the big dinosaur. The Pink Ranger had the pterodactyl. Yeah. Pterodactyl. And I, and I remember that because me and Melanie had. We had the little action figures for those Sounds dinosaur <laughs> robots. I, I had. Sama. I remember it. Perfect. I remember the red bear. That's about it. Yeah, no, I definitely no remember bear? the pink ranger, no the the der- the pterodactyl. I was so I loved that one. It was a good one. Could almost De- be Aldris. Definitely some good stuff. Yeah, the the second I saw that, I was like, is that a? <laughs> I I think they probably have a name. A Power Ranger mech. <laughs> Says See, was the one that looked Power like Ranger an mech. eagle? It's like eagle hawkish looking. I'm not really sure. Yeah. It Bird looks cool. of prey. It looks very cool. Yeah. I remember really liking it. Anyway, the three of you at this first subfloor, we'll say it's the defended zone because it indeed is quite well defended. Uh, as I mentioned, there is also lots of wood and ore being processed here, just much slower than it probably is used to. As the three of you descend down here, you are hailed by what seems to be the larger mech in the middle. It has four arms. And it's just sort of standing mostly in the middle of the room, facing Rider. you guys in a still decently defended position. Uh, he wanted not extra hailed. arms. Three of you are, yeah. <laughs> he wanted extra arms. <laughs> However, Wait, am I hailed? The three of you are, yes. Georgiana, Nara, and Aldris. Oh, because Ryder's still up on the other level. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's taking up the... Because they, they will come I, down here, so... It is smart to kind of I allow it. <laughs> I allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. You're not met with a face, but you Before are Before he even says anything, I'm like, what's up? You could hear him breathing in to speak. How's it hanging? How's your up dog? I'm not going to fall for that. Damn it. <laughs> I got a wife to fall for it, and she got really angry, and it was the best ever. She screamed <laughs> at me, what's up dog? And I'm like, not much, you. 
Because she sounded actually mad. I'm like, well, there goes my joke. Why are you mad? <laughs> because I kept I kept phrasing it really annoyingly. I'm like, so should we pick up the up dog tomorrow? And we was in bed. The best time to do it, of course. You know what I mean? I kept asking before she got angry. And she's like, what is up dog? I was like, ah. Uh, uh. Sorry, it was so good. I hate you. I, love I don't you so think fall in for my there's, track card. There's, there's very little that gives me more joy on earth than annoying Melanie. Wow, <laughs> so. you are related. <laughs> it was very cute, precious. It was. Uh, that being said, what's the guy say? That being said, he pauses for a moment. Does as he, he say what's in. up, dog? No, he doesn't. But it would have been really cool. Apathetic. What a know, jerk. Right? What an absolute chungus. You sort of hear him just sigh outward as you uh, greet him in that way. While he does that, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> While he does that, I want to try hacking into his system, into his mech. Uh, you can tell from a distance that his is much higher quality than the others. The one that ran away, you can see, is kind of held back. And he has not necessarily a sniper, but a large, a large rifle. One of the other ones uh, is wielding sabers. Uh, and the other one has a combination of, like, a, a, a rifle, more of an automated rifle, and what seems to be, like, an axe or something. Hey, Georgiana. Yeah? I want those sabers. But you can make your own. Yeah, but I like taking things from people. <laughs> okay. Anyway, while that guy's about to talk to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the hack. Alrighty. Or actually, would that be a stunt? No, it wouldn't be. Why Not necessarily. Are, are you just trying to create an advantage, or are you trying to actually hurt him? I'm not trying to hurt him yet. No, no. Yet. The way you said that. I say, obviously, he's hailed you. Obviously, he's paying attention. Are you going to open with trying to do this, or are you going to wait a second? I want to do it as subtly as possible. Nara okay. has a twitchy finger of hacking into people, okay? It's true. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw that question at you. If you do it uh, too early, I'll give you a fate point, but if you fail the roll, obviously, he's going to know you're trying to hack into him. Yeah, I'll do it early. Sure. All right, go ahead and roll it right now. Basically, as you uh, as you say, hey, all right, good, four, acceptable, nice. Yep, that's something acceptable. <laughs> I think you did it. I think you did it. Okay, you can tell that his firewall is indeed relatively. No, it's it's you can get in, but he's not it's able to good, notice. But... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it's good compared to the normals. To you, it is pathetic. Let's be honest. Trying to be as subtle as you possibly can, be Nara. So. He's not immediately alerted that you're trying to, like, get into his business. Sneaky. And his voice rings out for the three of you. And you hear him say, guests, greetings. Ooh, what a nice accent. That's a weird, that's a weird greeting. Yeah, that's, that's what I was expecting. May I ask, you. what brings the three of you here? Is that a real question? Wait, I have a question. Why do you think we're here? I'm not entirely sure. We didn't see you enter, at least not to my knowledge. You, you weren't see called. Us? No. Weird. Hmm. Quite weird. And not knowing who the four of you are, well, you're assaulting my admittedly. Nara, not well, say we're the NWC. Not What's well defended N base. What? Out of game. What's the NWC? The National Wildlife Conservation. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I absolutely say that's what. Isn't we that are. what we originally said when we came? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it was. Yeah, no, I, I definitely hold to that. I'm like, right. oh, we're from. That's where we're from. As you say that, he sort of chuckles to himself and says, "We both know that's not why you're here." I don't know what you're talking about. I, mean, I love nature. Is. It kind of well. is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not seen the plants that are holding your other troops? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I, know, like, I know I'm not down there, my bad. <laughs> no, it is why we're here, though. Understandable. Is there a reason you didn't enter, well, on more amiable terms? Uh, I mean, that's what happens when we get attacked for no reason. You were attacked? Uh, out of game, I'm definitely rewriting history. So. Okay. <laughs> so he, he, he seems somewhat confused. Uh, he, he, I, yeah, I know. I don't recall. I know that that's what happens. So. Yeah. I don't recall ordering an attack. Weird. Maybe you're just not able to keep your guys in line. Hmm. I will not be the first to admit that some of them are a little trigger happy. Mm, can relate. Um, can I send a message to Ryder? You can. 
I'm going to send a message to him to that's like, hey, Captain. Yo, yo, yo. A whole lot of bad guys down here might need some backup. I'll, I'll send you a message saying, dealing with some punks, be there in a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right i said you know that uh like hang loose emoji or whatever yeah <laughs> that's what i send you <laughs> <laughs> like sick see you in a minute on that note Ryder, go ahead and roll me attack three more times do some bopping yeah five four three there we go i rolled a zero a zero and a three all right mr Ryder. Considering we tied on the third one, uh, you will gain a boost on that. And uh, good sir, go ahead and narrate to me how you defeat two of these. We're just going to rewind real quick to kind of like set the field for everybody mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay, so boom, explosion. We all rush in. Boom, boom, boom. Right? So I'm rushing first and then everybody zips down to the bottom. And then as I do that, I kind of do like this like dope ass flip and I start swinging at people. Obviously, I miss because whatever. Um, but then I kink one guy and then after I do that and you guys go down there and all that stuff, I do like a backflip and I like pose with my sword and gun or whatever and i look at everybody and i'm like you guys know who you're messing with right like i hail all of them at the same time excellent Don't any of them say anything back before uh, i do something no they're they're just trying to get you out of here okay cool. they know you're talking yeah. <laughs> so i'm like you just messed with the wrong national wildlife conservationist <laughs> oh, no. and then i'm gonna Dart at uh, the guy who I dinged. You said I dinged one earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to slash him, killing him. I'm going to slash him like <clears throat> diagonally or whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to like use my rocket boot from one shoe to like jet off the wall that I after killing the one guy and then jet off to another guy and just like slice him in half as well. And then parry with another guy and then jump back and pose and be like, game on. All righty. Uh, they are trying their absolute best to damage you, but so far are unable to do so. Uh, back to the three of you, as you're talking to this individual, he says, Well now, I'll be blunt. What can I get to the, what? Four of you, five of you, how many, how many of you brought? What can I give to you to convince you to leave? Are we negotiating? We are negotiating, yes. No. Well, what are you willing to give us? Credits. Do better. Sorry, what? Do better. Do better. What do you want, though? <laughs> do better. <laughs> I mute my Nara, mic. fight for the fight for the wildlife. <laughs> I, I don't know. Think of the say. trees. <laughs> Think uh, of the birds. Should I ask? I, well, but you, we're going to come in here and we're going to kill them, right? Well, yeah, just play up the national thing until I come down there. <laughs> OK, I unmute the mic. How about you and all your guys? Just leave this planet alone. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Mm, I think you can. Well, you know, we here at the NWC take this sort of infraction quite seriously. And uh, if you don't, you know, head on out, there are going to be some pretty hefty fines. Fines we can most likely pay. Is that it? Just fine. fine. If you leave, I'll accept the fine. Mm, the fine is death. It's about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The That's fine is fine. death. The, 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 there's a sort of a stifled laugh there. And you can tell he's addressing both Gigi and Aldris now. He says, well, I know there's more of you. Is she the only one not willing to, say, play along? The two of you feel the same? Yeah, we all feel the same. Yeah. Also, why this is happening, I want to start slowly shutting down his mech. Go for it. Roll again. He loses be... control of an arm, then he loses yep. control of a leg. Exactly. Burgle. <laughs> and then his mech explodes. Yeah. Well, well gosh uh, dang. Th that's basically rolling his firewall slash notice. Can I re-roll? You can re-roll. Uh, you would hit the one where it says fate point actions and re-roll oh, the fate point. Are you kidding me? <gasps> They're all the exact same? No. Yeah. <laughs> it got worse. No, the Wait, where's... it doesn't add the plus three. It's yeah, the it didn't add the plus it's three. Same. Yeah, it rolled the same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, I'll accept it. All right. 
Uh, and then, but you know, to cover it up, I'm like, just uh, running a little scam here. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. It's part of our uh, our duties, you know, your, just your to make protocol. sure it's part of our protocol. Mind. Yeah, that's all. Don't worry about it. Nothing suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> he, he responds with, well, unfortunately, my duties, my protocol is to protect the land that was given to me. And given well, to you. Correct. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ping. To I'm gonna ping Nara home. and be like, "Tell them to plant more trees." <laughs> I'm gonna go out, get off. I will house. absolutely do that. Okay. Maybe. That? May, you know what? Maybe. Maybe we could make a compromise. Oh, do tell. How about you plant some trees? <laughs> Funny thing you'd mention that. <laughs> Why don't you plant some trees, you son of a bitch? <laughs> we actually. <laughs> it doesn't like an insult, doesn't it? <laughs> plant trees, dickwad. <laughs> yeah, I just oh god, I just want to call something. Why don't you plant some trees, you son of a bitch? <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Go <laughs> plant one. How dare you? All right. <laughs> Sorry, that <laughs> voice. How dare you? <laughs> you rap scallion. <laughs> he uh, once again kind of kind of chuckles to himself. He finds the three of you, the fourth one up top, very quite very, comical. Quite comical. You guys are very interesting. It's and good. He won't be laughing soon. Probably not. <laughs> and he says, well, unfortunately, I am tasked with defending what is mine. And if that means killing the four of you, well, so be it. Actually, and you know, it's yes. sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> Sir dude. Um, who gave this? Why do you think this is yours? For a brief moment, uh, when I said he hailed you, he didn't show any visual but for just a moment he turns on his screen. is he a traitor is he a traitor for his own people or something or is he actually like from off planet when the screen does turn on <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> way too excited perfectly fine all uh, right yeah, yeah, no no you're right you you see his face and he looks very similar to the folk here you son of a bitch and he's just kind of smirking like mm, and then instantly turns it off Ooh, that was good. That was a good move. <laughs> <laughs> and, that was a good one. And with that, he and the other three ready themselves for combat. His forearms like flip into like mecha mode. And I guess copying Gigi, unfortunately, and very well suited for what's going on here. He pulls two hilts from behind him. Each of them extend into uh, essentially laser chainsaws and they just whir to life. The other arms take up two comically large pistols, and the saber mech, the axe mech, and the rifle mech all get ready for combat. Question. Uh, first, though, yes. So I had initially hacked in. Mm -hmm. With my second attempt, that was a failure. Do I have to rehack in? So any or... hacking you're going to try. So basically, the, the first one was for you to effectively get in. If you succeeded mm -hmm. any subsequent hacks, I effectively would have let you just add debuffs to him as you succeed, and he wouldn't know they were there. So when the fight started, right. he would have had all these consequences on him. Damn. Unfortunately, you weren't able to do that. So the uh, the risk of taking it early was effectively you get a fate point, and then you start early, which which gets you in, but doesn't actually get anything done, and everything after that would have just stacked, 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 stacked. So Damn. That's just well, that's like, fine. I'll restart. No worries. Yeah, effectively, yeah. Now that we're in combat, you can just go bunga bunga on him if you want. Bunga bunga. Let's switch back to Ryder real quick. Go ahead and roll me uh, three more. No, you know what? Four. There's four of them. Roll me four attack rolls. We'll just, we'll just dump them out real quick. Seven, three, four, and five. I'm going to boost my three. Uh, well, hold up. Let me roll first. I might roll awfully. Your seven is compared to my piddly two. <laughs> uh, three is compared to two. Four is compared to three and five compared to one. So two of them are very clearly killed. You said you wanted to boost the three? Which one would be the best to get a kill? The three, the three, yeah, the three. All right, cool, do that. So go ahead and spend one fate point for me. Uh, and with that- oh, I don't get a free invoke? Oh, do you want to use the boost? Yes. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, you can definitely use the boost then, yeah. Use that's the on fire. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, no worries. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, so with that, that's going to be three enemies dismantled. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, you're good. That was incredibly successful. Go ahead and spell that out for me. OK, so after I did my slash 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 and then I ting with one of them, I'm mm -hmm. going to like spin my sword in my hand. I don't think you guys know who you're messing with. I'm Ryder McCloud 
I'm the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. I'm just gonna like no, dart at them. <laughs> I'm just gonna like stab the the guy that I tinked with in his gut and like lift him up by his mech and just like rip through him. And, I'm, and like as I'm doing that, you see like shell and like fire, you know, sh you know, tink off both sides of my armor as his shell of his mech is like falling on both sides of my mech and i'm like running at the other mech and the other mech's like oh shit what the fuck just happened and i'm just like dun, 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 and just like cut him in half and then the other guy's like oh shit and i like pull out my gun and i'm just like pop 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 and just like three bullets right through his chest exploding him and then i just like face off with the last one all right he does not look very happy i'll put it lightly just <laughs> watching you dispatch five of his compatriots they haven't even hit you once and then looking back to the three of you, uh, Nara, since you were so aggressive, I don't know if you want to go first or if you want uh, Aldris or Gigi to go first because they were kind of hanging back. I really want to take down that guy sooner rather than later. Okay. I'm not saying you guys should do this because you can do whatever you want. I just think if you keep with the plant themes, like Gigi using like some plant bubble gum or something, and Aldris was already using plants, it's kind of like goofy, like, Nation and wildlife attack. Definitely. I agree. For the trees. Whack. I mean, if For you the don't, trees. If you and don't call I... your taxes, you do them. Then what are you doing? Of the three of you, who has the best idea to go first? I want um, to blind them. You want to blind them? Is that what you said? Yeah. How are you going to blind them and not blind us? Uh, I'll warn carefully. you to close your eyes. They're in a different yeah. room, so they're, they're further away. Second. I mean, I can certainly do a us only communication, can't I? Oh yeah, he 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 turned off communications. Of course, I, you guys uh, had to take on no. keep turning it back on. But no, he didn't. He I turning it back on to I him. immediately started turning it back on. Can I actually do that? And then and then Georgiana can go. Can that be oh, the no. first attack? Yeah. So one of one of the things I told you guys is uh, specifically because of Georgiana constantly falling in love with the battlefield. I know she kind of. Uh, planted her flag if you will in liam early on but the original idea was that she would talk to like various mech people and fall in love with them and then like buff herself because she either wants to like super kill them or like protect them and then that would make the enemy kind of get all screwy but she didn't want to lean into that too much because she likes liam which is perfectly fine so i said to make that work maybe this power source you guys have is so wonky and just it makes no sense that it actually lets you guys whenever you want open up comms so, I mean, why would the enemy talk to you, right? Especially against their will. Yeah. So I kind of imagine Gigi as being like overly attached girlfriend of like, hey, hey, kitty, hey, kitty, talk to me, talk to me. They keep like turning out of their webcam. They're like, God, stop. And you keep like, God, he's so hot. <laughs> so that, that, that was kind of what I was imagining, which is what you basically did to Liam. But I, know, I, I, I low key thought because Gigi said, close your eyes. I thought she was going to open video comms and flash them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> so you, know, you meant to be able to flash grenade, right? Huh? You meant to flash grenade, right? Or yeah. Oh, yeah. Titties. Titas. Well, you are more welcome to do... It, you, you seem to have the idea, Gigi. So you may do what you will. All right. I will well, um, open communications. You can please. do it as a, as a free action, Nara. That is and, what I want. And I'm not yet. Really they, they don't need to hear what I'm about to say. They're extra. It can open. be a separate line. Yeah. All right, on a separate line, I'm going to say, everyone close your eyes now or get blinded. I want to shove a vanilla light pop in my mouth and do a blinding flash grenade. You're aiming at the Under saber here. axe and large mech? I just want to do it in the middle of the room. That will get the most light out. Okay, uh, so basically how this works is you, you have to shoot it at a zone. So you can shoot it at the defended zone, and it will effectively hit all of them. And then you just tell me basically how you want that to work out. It will uh, shoot over here. A flash is a one time and it's just gone. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to like throw a disco ball in there, it's constantly flashing. That means the Ooh. zone will be flash, 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 but it's going to be harder and they can like kick it out or move it or throw it back. Actually, at you. so I'm just throwing that out there. If, if you get a disco ball, I will make sure some techno music plays. <laughs> that is very important. <laughs> For the vibes. I feel like I could do Disco Ball if I combine my, um... Because I have a fireworks pop, a birthday cake pop. Mm -hmm. Could I combine fireworks and blinding light to get a Disco Ball? Sure. We can just say the zone has it, if you want. Are you sure that's not going to blind us, though? No, I just said it, it's literally going to. They throw it back at you, yes. 
that that's the risk. So on their turn, they can just instantly throw it back at you if they succeed, of course. Not if I make their arms not work. There you go. I'm going to blind. I'm just going to simple blind first. Sure, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. You better believe it, baby. Uh, yeah, I, I believe it. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> ah, I want you. I'm just going to imagine. That no, actually was music. terribly timed because um, Kiri bit me on the foot. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> not like me. Not like hard or anything. Bad cat. <laughs> No, because she likes to like, Eat like people, she thinks yeah. feed her toys basically, <laughs> um, and so she startled me. It didn't hurt or anything. I just it was bad timing. Sorry about that. Or it was great timing. I'm great gonna, I'm timing. gonna imagine the thing I posted in the group chat thingy is the music that you're gonna play, the disco music. Dynamite. <laughs> is there dynamite? Is... I'll roll the back guys first. Then I'll roll the front guy. So you have five points to put where you want. Do the six guy. I'm just kidding. Roll the one, two, and a six. Since this is telling you to be creating an advantage, right? This is creating an advantage, correct. Where does it benefit me to go super over them all? So, when you create an advantage, uh, if you succeed, you create an aspect with one free invoke. If you succeed with style, you get two free invokes. And succeed with style is over by three. I'll do both for one free invoke. So, what does this look like? Um, I just lob a cute little ball of white, I don't know, puff or something, and it just explodes in their faces. But you see the two of them are unable to dodge this in time, and they have to, like, shield by pulling up their uh, their weapons so that they don't get completely just bamboozled by all this nonsense that's going on. Uh, alrighty, Mr. Mr. Man kind of gets ready to move into place, but he's not just ready to go yet. Uh, seeing you flash his men, that's not, not the nicest thing you could have done there, Georgiana. The lad in the back is actually going to take aim at you. And he's going to fire oh. something. Go ahead and drop me a McDodge. A McDodge? Yeah, one of those McDodges. I think you did it. Are you sure? I think you did it. Only this time. You right. barely <laughs> missed that. Yes. <laughs> he fired something at you that you can tell he was trying to restrain you. Oh my. You dodge this with so much grace, though, that you gain a boost. What do you want? Can I give my boost to someone? No. It, it, it's a buff to you. Giving away a boost would be a stunt. I actually, love that about fate. Anytime I say no, <laughs> the stunt can just say yes. <laughs> so I guess anytime I say no and you go, aw, if it's something you really, really like, then that, that would be a stunt, effectively. I have no idea, speedster. Sure. Alrighty, quick on her feet, surprising no one. The rifle douchebag that just shot at you kind of he kind of moves back. He's 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 trying to stay. Uh, pretty well hidden. For reference, the enemy base where you guys currently are, one zone away is the defended zone, and then one more zone away from that is the back zone. So the back zone is two zones away from you. He can only shoot because he has a high caliber rifle. Alrighty, Gigi, who's next? I'll just... I'll just go. I'm just Alrighty. gonna keep going with the good old, uh, good old plants holding on to people. Okay. On the, uh, the large boy. Going for the large boy, alright. Large boy. He thick. He do be thick, though. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, not just that. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually not going to roll this. I'll, I'll just, you try to pull plants up out of the ground and get them to assist you, but you actually realize they can't hear you from here. You oh, are no. completely surrounded in a giant metal building. But I will say this, just past them and just past the back zone, you feel something back there stir. So he's not going to roll to succeed. You basically just tried to do something and didn't work, unfortunately. Okay. One of the one of the flashed fools is going to run to you, GG. What he's actually going to try to do is, as he charges you, both of his blades split, almost like a two pronged bident, and he's trying to basically pin you down if he can. So go ahead and roll me pilot to dodge that. All right, we tied, so I do get at least a boost for that. Not completely useless. We'll just say off balance. Actually, wait, that would be on you, would it? No, I think that'd be on me. Never mind. Uh, I'll just say also speedy. <laughs> He's copying you. What are you going to do? Oh, my. What are you going to do, huh? I am taking this personally now. You very much should. What a freaking copycat. Sure. All right. Nara. So I want to hack into his mech. Okay. Is this creating advantage or damage? I do think I want to, I will use my freshly unveiled mech killer stunt. Oh my god. 
Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's definitely something. That thick. Yeah, that thick. That does not tickle. Okay, that is <laughs> six shifts of damage. If you want, you can make it five shifts of damage and give yourself a boost. Up to you. Make it five shifts of damage and give me a boost. Okay, sounds good. So this is going to give him a moderate consequence. What do you want it to be, Nara? You're hacking into him. This is five shifts of damage. What's it look like? He has two sabers, right? This is the one with two sabers, correct. Could it short circuit one of his arms or something so that it is no longer usable? Sure. I will say shorted arm. I like to imagine that it forces the hand to open so that the sword drops and then he can't control it. Sure. Uh, so rather than, well, I guess yeah, I didn't call him Saber's Mech, but he was Saber's Mech. Now he is Saber Mech. If you, you watch him kind of just like, duh, 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 and he's like a tr attempting to attack Georgiana. But as you sort of hack into him, uh, you can see that you've definitely bamboozled him uh, just a wee bit. Sexy. Uh, as he's like clashing with her and he goes to swing, his arm just, boop, just lets go. And the, the Saber just goes flying across the room and just kind of slides, and shuts off. Beautiful. All right. What kind of boost do you want? Caught off guard boost so that the next time I try to hack in, I can get a boost. Uh, so it's for you. So maybe yeah. are you trying to grab a, a are you trying to get a boost for yourself that is like tech related, basically? Yes. Sure. Um, so we can just say like, eh, just just tech know how. Okay. Because you've, you've been in the system. You know what it looks like. There's already a note for that aspect. Is there, though? It's familiar territory. Oh, it is. I must have already clicked it. Shit. OK, I'll put it next to you. All right, so next time you try to uh, get busy with their tech nonsense, you'll have a free uh, free invoke on that. Yeah. Excellent. Don't, don't kill him yet, y'all, because I want to use that invoke. <laughs> uh, okay, as they're sort of assessing the situation and trying to figure out, you know, what the hell is going on, uh, the large mech is getting ready to do uh, his business, and kind of the same, we'll say Mr. Mr. Axman uh, Doucheberry, uh, actually prepares something for all y'alls, and he's just going to throw it into the middle of the three of you. Uh, Georgiana, Nara, and Aldris, roll me pilot. Negative Oof. one. Ouch. Ouchy. Uh, not great. So this isn't damage. This is going to be an aspect. Do either of you want to re-roll or add to that? Yes, and I got an extra one. <laughs> yeah, better than nothing. What's the best way to do that? I'll go ahead and use a faith point to bring that up to a six. Um, effectively, what this is, is this is just a shock aura. So initially, it doesn't really do anything, but you feel somewhat slowed by it. It's similar to the flash grenade, but rather than you being visually impaired, you feel as if your mech could at any moment glitch out on you and kind of mess up. It's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely How the worst thing dare ever. He needs to go down they to do this. this. Exactly. What an absolute chumbus. Okay. Uh, seeing as you guys are going to come to them, he'll go ahead and come to you. The big boy is going to go ahead and charge in, and I'll say he will meet with good old GG. And as he charges at you, he basically brandishes both of these lightning chainsaws and just bears down on you, GG. Okay. You want to add any juice to that? Sexy. Um, I think that's more of a re-roll situation. You can very much re-roll if you wish. Yeah, go for it. Wow. Uh, they brought you up to a five. Very nice. Much better. Okay, so he only beats you by one. That's weak sauce right there. Okay, so yes, uh, Gigi, just take one shift of damage. That's nothing. That's baby damage right there. Okay. All right, so he rushes you. How do you meet him as he charges you with these two lightning chainsaws, basically? I think I'll just dodge out of the way. Uh, so go ahead and add one shift of stress, the physical stress, obviously, uh, and then that will be his turn. So, Ryder, you have one dude in the room with you still. He clearly looks scared. Uh, what say you, good sir? Right. I'm going to slash him. All right. Roll me some damage. Well, looks like the turns have tabled. <laughs> are we re-rolling with a fade point? Or are you taking four shifts of damage? Re -roll. Is, is, is this his anime moment? <laughs> <laughs> this is not his anime moment. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not done. Okay. I still have honorable fight where I'm one v one someone. I get plus two. 
and you roll fight. You literally did roll fight. Yes. Okay. So instead, Ooh, you correct. Nice. There was no one else in this room. You do not completely dispatch him, and this is indeed a one-on-one -on -one honorable battle, but you can tell he is on his absolute last leg. One more of anything, and he would very much go down. So Sucker. you you are you are still met kind of just neck and neck with this guy. And he thought he had a moment for just just, you know, just to split a hair. He thought, holy shit, I can take out the legendary rider. Let's be honest, that's not happening. Uh, rider doesn't necessarily know what's going on in that room. Uh, Nara, who's, who's next? You can technically pick yourself. I just want to use my free boost. My boost. My boost. Then do it. Yeah, I'm going to try. Um... You better boost it. Yeah, I'm going to okay. go. I want to get the other arm on the saber mech. You want him to drop <laughs> the other arm? Yeah. Okay, that's not great for him. Making him drop all the arms. This poor man. So, that... so he's clearly fiddling with his mech, trying his absolute best to figure out what the hell is going on. And that is a success with style. Uh, so you don't necessarily, you, you don't even need to use your tech know how. You get to hold on to that. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and give him System Shock. And that is two free invokes. Make good use of it, everyone. Make good use of it. This boy's got a lot of... One way off in the far, though. Oh, okay. You can't no, move it. No, it's the one okay. in front of you. He's not doing so hot. So uh, effectively, Nara, you just kind of get into the business once again. And his other arm just kind of... And he just drops his other saber. And rather than going flying across the room, it just falls unceremoniously to the floor. And everyone saw it. And he's definitely super embarrassed. That's a, that's a lot of horseshit going on for one individual character. I'm going to go ahead and say he is next, just because that logically makes sense. You're you should him. just leave the battle, how embarrassing that was. At this point, he's yeah. So, I, he's humiliated. I feel like he'd be taking mental stress if uh, that was a... Emotional something. damage. Yeah, basically, just infinite emotional damage. Uh, so, with this, he is going to effectively just, like, run at you, Gigi. And he has a really close range, like stomach launcher that just shoots like a cannon at you. And he's just booking it at you, attempting to use this pretty makeshift weapon that probably isn't really too effective. And he's using it in melee range. So it's kind of like a shotgun. Okay. Roll me some pilot. He looked. That's, that's not great for him at all. But that's amazing for you because you succeed with style. So you can give yourself a boost. Is my speedster boost gone? I don't know where I put it. I found where I put it. I'm going to go ahead and just give you a second sack of speedster. How's that sound? Yes. All right. More speedster for you. There's a lot of buffs and debuffs on the map right now. So this <laughs> dude just looks like a damn fool right now. You could tell. Uh, maybe, Nara, you said you're probably hacking into their, their systems to hear what's going on. He's most likely being berated mm -hmm. by his, uh, his superior at the moment. I, uh, wait, I can hear that, right? You can hear that. Can I um can I put it on a loudspeaker? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's how you do mental damage. As you can sort of hear the large mech yelling at the uh well, I guess we need to fix him, don't we? Can I use my boost for that? He's the not saber mech. Are you intending to do mental stress to him or you just want to generally oh, yeah. humiliate him? No, I want to I mean I want to humiliate him, but in a way that causes mental stress. Okay, cool. Uh yeah, we'll go ahead and take the tech know-how. Say so you uh, you hack that bad boy up and do this for me. Go ahead and roll me your hack skill and we'll add the plus two. And depending on what you roll, I'll probably just make his second condition like shaken or something. You mean my burglary? Yeah, roll burglary. Hack skill? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. So I'm just going to make his second mild consequence just like shaken, not stirred. He's not doing well. You guys can hear over the intercom, like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you dropping your weapons? You know what your job is? And you can just hear all this, all this nonsense, and it's echoing throughout the halls, and everyone can feel this man's shame, and it's just un... It's not great. It's not great. Let's be honest. It's not great. Aldris, you're out, bud. Oh, this man has a whole lot of debuffs on him, so... One or two, yeah. One or two? One or two, yeah. There's a bunch of machines in this room, right? Oh, yeah. Kind of turn the metal into, like, floating swords? With magic. Are you, are just, you going to magneto him, basically? Pretty much. Hell yes. To shank him with his own machines. Oh, do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can do one of two things. You can either melt 
like floating metal into blades and shoot them at him. Or because I said these are big construction machines, you can rip out the blades and throw those at him. Which one do you want to do? Uh, we'll go with the second one. OK, cool. Go ahead and roll me some of that uh, La Magie. He's going to attempt to dodge. And then I'll invoke everything I can. OK, so System Shock, we'll go ahead and invoke that. And then Flashed, we can invoke that. He's flashed one. He's going to use also Speedy to give himself plus two. And then I'll use a Fate Point to add two as well. Yeah, so that brings me to five. And that brings you to four plus four, eight, ten. I think so, yeah. Uh, I'll put it this way. If you want to undo that paid invoke, that's enough to kill him. Uh, sure. Why yeah. not? You know that that is overkill and then some. So, Actually, Mr. You know I yeah. don't. I, I want to overkill him. I want to just chop him into little tiny pieces. Sure. All right. What's this look like? Uh, well, I rip all the blades out of the machines around him. And they just start floating towards him and it just turns into like a, a tornado of blades and death. And it, Ooh, you can't God. really see as they fly through him. And then after you look away and look back, because you have to kind of look away from all the sparks as it's clashing against his mech. There's just a pile of metal and blood. All right. A single tear. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> no tears. It's more of a happy tear if that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Georgiana, you see this play out in front of you with all the debuffs you threw on this poor son of a bitch. Uh, both his blades remain. One of them is on and just kind of sizzling against the floor. The other one was effectively kicked across the room. You turn that dude into Skeddy. Congratulations. Skeddy. He's now Skeddy. Good job. I did always love pasta. All about the skets. All right. Seeing you just completely annihilate one of his allies, uh, the rifle boy will actually turn to you, Aldris. Well, that's not very nice. Yeah. He's, so he's, he's firing something at you. OK, there it is, I guess. Oh, no. Dodge with pilot. Whoa. So this isn't damage, by the way. Uh, this is him. He's creating an advantage. It's a good, a good jump, though. Uh, so the question essentially is, if you boost that, he will just regular succeed. If you don't, he'll succeed with style. It's up to you. Just one extra free invoke. All right, so you're going to jostle that up to a six. Yes. All right. So that is just a regular success. As he blasts you, you attempt to avoid what you think is a shot. But as it gets close to you, the shell, the ball, whatever it is, it explodes. And this flak just covers your mech. From a distance, you guys can kind of see almost glitter all over Aldris's mech. And they're just kind of like, bzz, 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 bzz. they're like, they're kind of yeah, shocking. Like glitter like, bombed. And like, yeah, it was like, almost like a glitter bomb. But they're like arcing to each other. So these like, these little like nanites are all over you. And it does, hasn't stunned you, but they're like moving around trying to like burrow on in. And they are creating an issue. They're creating a problem for you, we'll say. Still rude. Still incredibly rude. GG. You have the rifleman way across the room. You have the axe mech uh, in the next zone. You got big boy basically next to you. Yeah, I kind of want to go after him. Can I? I'm already ready to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fire a uh, acid grenade at the guy at the back. Axe mech? Rifle mech. You need a long range weapon to reach him. So you need a rifle of equal length or something that's like pinpoint accuracy. He's basically sniping at you guys. What now if you I, can travel. Wait. Yes. Can, I, can I move into here? <laughs> there you go. You can travel to the offended zone and then throw a grenade at him. You want to do that? Yes. Okay. All right, that'll be shoot. Mm hmm. Is this damage or are you trying to create an advantage? Create an advantage. Okay, because it's a tie. You get a boost. If you want to boost yourself, you get to create an aspect. And I'll use my boost. Okay. But one of my, one of my boosts. Yeah, one of your free boosts. Uh, so that brings you up to a six. His is only a four. So when you throw your acid grenade at him, what is the intention of your acid grenade? What are you trying to do? Like burn through his armor or. Yeah, burn through his armor. Nice. So I, I, I endure his gun to disable it. Okay. I'll say it takes a little more than that to completely disable the gun, but his armor is currently sizzling. As you throw this acid grenade over, you're basically forcing him to reposition, and he kind of starts to uh, move about. You're able to lob this grenade at, like just the absolute perfect angle, Georgiana. <laughs> All right, you guys are beginning to move about and cause issues for them. Excellent, excellent. Uh, as you move into this zone, the axe mac is actually going to go ahead and run at you, Georgiana, spinning this axe above his head, and he's going to strike down at you. Cool. Only pilot again. Uh, if you wish to invoke yours or his flashed, when he attacks and ties, he gains a boost. If you use either of those, he will not gain a boost and do no damage. I use my boost. You use your boost, okay. So using your speedster boost, you just get the hell out of the way 
He does no damage. He gains nothing. He does not collect go or collect $200. You're able to easily move out of the way as his axe just digs into the metal around you. You can just hear it like, as just cut through. And with that, Mr. Largeman, seeing as you have uh, fairly quickly dispatched of uh, one of his men, Mr. Aldris, he is going to go ahead and charge at you. Go ahead and roll me pilot, Mr. Uh, well, pilot, or if you want to defend like with a magic like shield or something, he's coming down at you with those dual lightning chainsaws. Uh, That's a big blow. My thing. Yeah. Magic shield. Magic shield it is. Okay unsurprising he's going to invoke both of those shocks to basically slow you down so we're going to Rude. pop both of those free ones go to nine and then go to 11 uh do you wish to boost you up to a six or are you out of juice i'm out of juice you're out of juice this is gravely unfortunate uh already that is seven shifts of damage then oh boy ouch that is indeed physical so however you want to take that well, good thing you haven't taken any damage yet <laughs> And then for your mild, are you taking a mild or a moderate consequence? I'll go moderate, I guess. Okay. We'll just say like Sundered Armor. Because he just jumped up in your business, just broke through that shield. Not my business. Yeah. He got up in your noise. All right, Ryder, you can hear your friends are having some issues in the other room. Finish right, off. I'll finish this guy off. Finish him off. <laughs> Come on. Plus two. All right, that means, my friend, you have dispatched this mech. What's it look like? We clanked, and I'm like, you picked the wrong battle, buddy. And uh, I, like, clank, clank, and then, like, chop his arm off. Mm -hmm. And it, like, flies off. And I, I like, do, like, a, a, a pose. And then, like, like, a really cool, like, sword pose, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then I just, like, booster, like, all my jetpacks on my, my back rush at him and i just go students <laughs> like jet past him and he explodes and then i do a backflip down to where everybody else is all right yes you're able to move back to the action after you finish that and now that you can see what's going on Ryder, who goes next can i say something before i do that you very much can i'll look at everybody i'm like sorry i'm late for the party oh hey uh tall dumb and ugly mm. uh, seeing you enter the arena he's like legitimately surprised you took all of them out Nice. I'm going right, to hail him. I'm like, all right, you ready for the real party to begin? Well, I've been ready. I don't think you know who you're messing with. I could very much say the same. Ready for the four of you to turn tail and run, truly. Well, the six guys up there couldn't stand up to me, so we'll see. They were a mere distraction. I hope you're ready. And Nara, side note to you, you can tell he's trying to like close it and he can't. Guile's <laughs> theme from Street Fighter starts playing. Da, 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 da. I make sure it stays open. <laughs> he, he's, he's trying very, very hard to like close it, then it reopens, he closes it, and he's just like kind of staring at the camera like, God damn it, I can't close the freaking intercom. <laughs> Nara just keeps on spamming the button. Basically, yeah. Exactly. Alrighty, Ryder, who was next on your side? Uh, Gigi. Alright, Gigi, what you got? This fool is annoying. I think I'll use my acid swords this time. Acid swords? Okay, sounds good. He's going for raw damage. Yeah. I you said ass. Acid swords. <laughs> All right, what about the ass like, swords, Georgiana? Like, what what Can I use my invoke to make it bigger? It brings your five to a seven. And it says free invoke on it, so we, we know what happened. This interface, if we actually use oh, it, is... Oh, cool. Awesome. I agree. It's very cool. Alrighty, that is four shifts of damage, I believe. Unfortunate yeah. for Axe Mech. This is going to give him a moderate consequence. What will it be with your acid blades? Can I de-arm him? Sure. I'll, I'll say you can go ahead getting and... Getting uh... as many arms as we can get this time around. <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're going for? I didn't know this was the goal. Arm now Don't that all just knows, he can uh, unlock his power. Pry open that third eye, which was, I guess, the theme of the last one. The last planet, that is. But yes, we can go ahead and say, you know, severed arm. Why not? I dig. I dig. Though no stress, but straight up, Georgiana, you clash quickly with this axed mech, and you're able to pretty much just like wriggle your way and boost around and take slight advantage of the fact that he was flashbang like a turn ago. Maybe his eyes finally like, ugh, and catch up with it. And you're able to just rip off basically his left arm. So he's wielding this axe, but less effectively. And I'm going to go ahead and say, he'll just go next. He's, he's going to attack you. Well, sometimes the dice agree with what's happening in canon. All right. Uh, no boost, no nothing. You just completely dodge the attack. Uh, who's next, Gigi? 
Nara. Nara, what you got? Can I act, hack into his uh, targeting systems? For the rifle boy? Yeah. Yes, but you need to move to the defendant zone. That is fine. Okay. I will do that. Alrighty, moving in, Nara, you're attempting to hack this lad. Are you damaging him, or are you... I want to hack into his targeting system so that he hits his friend. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know, like... What a poor boy. How about we do this? You create an advantage on, on the rifle mech, but I'm not going to put it on the rifle mech. You tell me which friend, and I'll either put it on the axe mech or the large mech. I'll give them an aspect that says faulty targeting. So that way, during this battle, you can say, now the gun goes off and adds plus two. Okay. First, go ahead and roll it up. Your, your burglary. You burglin, though. The burglary. Okay. That is Boogly. a success, so I can't spell. Boogly woo woo. All right. Uh, we'll just no. say faulty aim. All right. Who are we putting this on? Has the large mech had anything done to him? Nope. I'm going to put it on him then. Sounds good. Sorry, Gigi. You already cut that guy down by half. That's fine. His name is X, X mech minus arm, so yeah. <laughs> this is accurate. Uh, all right, so you do something to the rifle, McNara, but he's not entirely sure what you did. He'll find out later, and it's going to be awful. <laughs> he's like, I know something happened, but <laughs> I don't know what. But he doesn't know what, uh, precisely. You are attempting to target him, though, uh, so he is actually going to get shooty-shooty on you. This is just a regular-ass shot with damage. Ooh. Ouch. Big oof. What happened to rolling negatives, Yeti? I feel like we've uh, been lied to. I, yeah. I feel like you've been lied to. have definitely been lied to. I feel like you've been lied to, yeah. Oh. Well. Not bad. Uh, I will use the shock aura, though. That's... Ooh. Which oh. isn't... That's not amazing. That's only three shifts of damage. I use that five, though. When am I going to get another five this turn? That's true. You did roll three positives. But you did theoretically block a shit ton of damage. Let's say I used all my physical and mental stress. Yes, all the damage is just consequences. And ju even if it, so like for moderate consequence, that would be four shifts of damage, right? But if I only needed three, would uh, so I still have been able to do that? Basically, the way it works is let's say both your physical and mental stress are completely full. If you take any stress, including one, that's four. So it, it, it fills in the next lowest. If the gotcha. lowest is a moderate consequence, that one That's is technically, what it's gonna be. It, yeah, it, it builds up and builds up and builds up to you got nothing else. Yeah, I do so. not want to use that moderate and severe consequence. Probably not. Uh, you do get to choose who goes next, though. Aldris or Ryder? Uh, Aldris. All right. Aldris, what you got, bud? I got fear. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I am in feared. Oh, wait, actually, how, how hurt are you? Uh, not You're too bad. <laughs> I took a moderate consequence and three physical stress. You're technically hurt. Oh, I've been, been right. there. <laughs> <laughs> No problem there. I want to, like, give as many of us, like, extra defense as possible, like shields, magical shields. Okay. So there's a few ways you can do that. Obviously, since everyone is so split up, you can give a positive buff if you want. Um, but, of course, you're always welcome to do technically a negative buff on the enemy. Also gives you a plus two on your roll. So it's realistically however you want to aim this and whoever you want to aim it at. We could say, like, you know, Aegis or something in this zone or the zone over yeah i'll just do it for uh, the whole zone like over here for where for there okay yeah and what kind of shield is this i would say we're going with like a wooden plant shield but i don't think that'll work here probably not so we'll just take more of the machines apart and just add armor to our mechs oh i like that okay go ahead and roll your roll your your general good stuff the good stuff that goes excellent okay We'll just say it's basically like just metal floating around the two of them. All right. Yeah, of course, that can only be used defensively. Uh, so large and in charge is going to go ahead and go next. He's going to charge at you, Ryder. And just once again, swinging his chainsaws. He's going to meet you in a duel, my friend. Oh, very nice. That's what happens when you fight the best. Apparently, that is exactly what happens. All righty. Uh, Mr. Defend, you succeeded. So you get to ignore damage. Very when nice. When he clashes with me, I'm going to like lean into him and be like, what was that again, bub? It is your turn on uh, Ryder. Sorry, what do you do? And then I smack him back. 
All right, go for it. See, I can roll low. <laughs> that was a very good time to do it as well. You realize that he's a little chunky. He doesn't move quickly, but he moves resolutely. He tries not to waste any movement whatsoever. As you clash and clash and clash, he thinks he blocks uh, every single one of your attacks. But and he's, he's like readying up his uh, side two arms to do some damage to you. But you're able to sneak in uh, one or two scratches, Ryder. And you'll do two stress worth of damage to the boss man. Uh, who's next, Ryder? Gigi, what you got, girl? All right. You have an armless lad. An armless lad. Well, not armless. He has one arm. Well. Can I stick one of my uh, bubblegum bombs inside his uh, decapitated arm? Can you decapitate an arm? <laughs> Uh, arm capitation? Yes. Arm capitation. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is just for raw damage? Yes. But I feel like it might also interfere too. Well, fortunately for you, it's enough to kill him. So, this one armed axe mech, as he goes to engage you, you sneak another one of your bubblegum bombs into him. And what does it look like? Well, it basically crushes him from his arm out. You shove this, this gum substance into the socket that basically was his arm. Does it, like, engulf him? Or does it just blow outward and, like, shoot him across the room? Uh, engulf. Okay, so this pink goo, a la blob style, just starts, like, oozing and bubbling out of the stump that was his left arm. And as he's kind of swinging at you and the two of you are engaged in melee combat, this just this ooze just starts, like, blah, 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 and starts to consume him, and it covers up the, the head of his mech, and he's, like, trying to scratch it off and whatnot. And you're able to effectively just do whatever you want to him as this is happening. And I, I would I would assume you like punt him away because he's going to explode. Yeah. Yeah. You just give this this fool a kick and he bounces off the uh, we'll say the log machine that was cutting logs. But now, you know, since I'll just ripped off the spinning blade, it's basically just this hunk of metal just slapping against the wood, not cutting it and just denting it over and over and over and over and over. He just rams into it. The whole machine just like buckles. And you can mm. hear it just like starting to whir up. It's like, and it's clearly having some issues. But that boy is gone. On their side, they are indeed running out of boy. Gigi, go ahead and make me another pilot roll. You are being shot at. Six. Spicy, spicy. Excellent. Okay. Whatever the rifle mech was trying to do to you completely fails. Who's next, Gigi? Uh, let's go back to Ryder. All right. As you dodge out of the way, Ryder takes his turn. What do you do, good sir? I swing! <laughs> Going for another attack? All right. Reroll. Okay. What the fuck? Unfortunate. You're unable to get in the business, if you will. He's getting kind of used to you. So I tink him for one, you say? You basically do nothing, yes. You you do one uh, one shift. Pink. Yeah, effectively. Uh, which is perfect because he was shooting at Georgiana, and you use the faulty aim, so <laughs> maybe it like ricochets or something and hits the large mech. Already. And with that, who is that? Nar Nar. All right, Nar, what you got? I want to take out that rifle guy. Uh, if you want to directly roll Matt Killer, it will roll your burglary set. Ooh. And it will say Matt, Matt Killer, which is super cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Already. Not great for the boy in the back. That is four shifts of damage. First time he's been hit. I would say since you're hacking him, I don't think sizzling armor makes sense as an invoke. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Four shifts of damage is still pretty damn spicy. Uh, so I'll give him a mild consequence of just like buggy system. All, All right. right. So you can very much tell you you messed with him. He, he's, he's, he's got some issues. You can see him like trying to recalibrate whatever the hell's going on. So you definitely did. Uh, you definitely did something there. Mr. Big and Large. Since, since you're basically dueling with him, Ryder. Uh, the large lad will go ahead and charge at you. Uh, but this time, what he's doing instead is he's kind of just saying, screw it. And the two like bottom arms he had that were originally holding guns, he just drops them and they like flip outward and become incredibly long. And he's basically just trying to uh, grab you. So rather than doing damage, he's creating an invoke on you, good sir. So roll pilot to get out of the way because he's not fighting. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so what this is going to do, it'll just create an aspect of grappled. And we'll have two free invokes. That is indeed his turn. So the arms latch out and they grab onto you, Ryder. And he's giving you a nice squeeze. You can still kind of move, but you can't really get away from him. But I can still attack him? 
Oh, you can definitely still attack him. In fact, that's probably what he wants. Aldris. Are there any more machines to dismantle at this point? <laughs> there are definitely machines around. And now that you're looking around, Aldris, you can see that the defense mechanisms aren't fully activated and they will be basically once you do whatever it is you do. You, looking at the ceilings, you can tell that there should be guns coming down and uh, doing business. Now that you've dispatched most of their men, those are probably going to activate in like a second. Uh, can I like delay those from activating? Sure. I will say if you take, there's a lot of them. So if you take your turn and you roll a four by throwing metal or whatever you want at them, you can stop. And for the next round, they won't do anything. I'll just like shoot a bunch of fire beams at them and try to weld everything shut. Sure. Yeah, go for it. You roll the four. <laughs> awesome. Right, okay. It was so good you, enough. Yeah, nice. You see them kind of shuddering and they're like about to open, but you're able to just like bzz, 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 and like shut them down for now. And they're still shaking, so they're, they're trying to open. But for this round, they're not going to do anything. All right, Aldris, who's next? Uh, Georgiana. All right, Gigi. Acid Sword. Sizzling armor to Acid Sword. Oh, no. All right. He's not in a... <laughs> he's like, not in a acid Sword. Acid Sword. <laughs> he is not in a position to defend himself well, so have fun. Three. Can I do my invoke? <laughs> oh, I need to do my invoke. Oh, beautiful. Uh, the sizzling armor? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what that's going to do is basically make you tie on your attack, which will give you a boost. Does he look like he's almost dead? He looks like he's hurting a little bit. Yeah. I use my last fate point to add too. All right, you use your last fate point, the pilot amongst all pilots, Georgiana, and lashing out against him with your acid swords they were? Yes. It was just, since one sword wasn't good enough, I'll whip out a second sword. All right. This is how logic works. We now have two acid <laughs> swords. Paint you know, me a picture of destroying Rifle Mech Boy as he's firing at you. You're able to weave between all of his shots, and you're finally in melee range as you draw your blades and... Well, I want to aim for one of those weak spots that's already sizzling, and then just slash right through. Just like, just kind of right, right in the middle? Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. Love it. Alrighty, and with that, he is dispatched. Alright, who do you point to next? Nara. Nara, okay. Considering Rifle is going to go next, Nara, you are next. And then the big one next. Uh, I would like to hack into his system as normal. So I want to make his limbs lock. Okay. Kind of like lock so him up, make him all juttery? Yeah, but to create an advantage for the next person. Go ahead and roll me some. <gasps> A burgle. All right. Uh, fortunately, when you tie, you do get a boost on yourself. Unless you want to use a fate point, because you are good at hacking. I'll put an aspect on the enemy. All right. Go ahead and use your last fate point, I believe. Uh, and yeah. this is uh, basically like, like a locked up system, basically. Yeah. All righty. And with that, large lad is going to go. He's going to go ahead and uh, tackle up with Ryder again, because you guys are face to face. All right. Good, sir. Roll me some of that fight. You yeah. very, very juicy. Excellent. He's not going to use anything on that. You just fully succeed. And he though he has you grappled, you're able to parry, parry. And parry your way out of this nonsense. All right, Nara, who's up next? Ryder. Ryder, you're up, bud. Okay, hi, I'm Ryder. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to swing now. Okay. Well, I guess we're going tit for tat. He also has locked up, right? He does, yes. That would bring you to A6. Well, if I don't use it, does it, what does it do for him? He's going to gain a boost because he succeeded with style. But if I use it, then he doesn't get a boost. Correct. OK, yeah, I don't want to I don't want him to have a boost. Fair enough. Still denying him plus two. Uh, his system is still locked up at the background, but no longer has a free invoke. So you, Aldris. Yeah, you, you, you kind of tackle with him, but unfortunately not able to do as much. Aldris, what you got, bud? I'm going to try to dismantle more machines. We're okay. just doing this now. We're just Magneto now. <laughs> we're, we're Magneto now. All right. Yep. Is is he flying or is he like on the floor? Oh, he's he's a very sturdy mech. He doesn't have he doesn't have four legs or anything, just two. But they're very beefy, and he's holding on to Ryder with his two extended arms, and the other two holding chainsaws are trying to cut up right. Uh, I'll try to like I don't know, shove all of the random parts that I take out of their machines and like bolt one of his arms to the ground if I can. 
Okay. So you're just trying to basically pin him. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. All righty. I dig. I dig. You can say pinned with metal. Uh, all righty, Mr. Aldris, who would be next? Uh, Ryder. All right, Ryder, before you go, everybody roll me pilot. We want to be uh, a two. We all die. Oh, Sorry. boy. Meet or beat a two. Sorry. Nara. Cool. We're rolling so well today. Alrighty, Nara and Ryder. I blame all the dice on the table. <laughs> <laughs> they bumped into Nara each other. Dice are in. Come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, I Nara. swear if I re-rolled, it'd be better. So, Nara, you do have the metal aura if you want to use that. I'll do that. Okay. So go ahead and do it first. negative one is bad. It's not great. Meet or beat a two. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. You, you nice. Three negatives to four positives. You beat the shit out of that. All righty. Uh, Ryder, did you want to add anything? Oh, yeah. No? Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Basically, what happens is you take one shift of damage. That's it. Oh, I'm fine with that. Okay. Go ahead and take one shift. Uh, Aldris, I'm sorry. Did, did you say who was next? Uh, Ryder. I'm swinging again. As the guns descend from the ceiling and fire upon you guys, you're all mostly able to avoid this. And Ryder, you lash out again against this large, beefy man. All right, a tie, but that means you get a boost. Wait, I use pin with metal. The pin with metal means you don't get a boost. Instead, he takes two shifts of damage. Uh, considering <laughs> those are already taken, he'll take a mild consequence. Uh, I slash into him and be like, Yeah, scratched armor. Your move! You! Uh huh. That's exactly what it sounds like. How many more? That's all I can do. I only do it once. There. I know, I'm sorry. Alrighty, uh, Ryder, who's next? I'll, I'll let two guys go, then him, and then two guys can go. Nara's been locking it down, so let's bring it back to Nara! Alright. For reference, <laughs> you can keep poking the same thing, Nara, the locked up system, and add more invokes to it. Because that, that is yeah, clearly working. Yeah, I'll do that. Drop me a burgle. Nice. All right, we'll go ahead and add oh, another yeah. one to locked up system. All right, and now he is going to go. And now that he's taken his first consequence, whenever you make the consequence, you can invoke it for free. So Ryder, once you go to hit him again, you can invoke that two and do two more damage if you want. The scratched armor. Now that his systems have been damaged, you can see parts of him like whirring up. It's like... Vroot, 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 vroot. And effectively, he is uh, powering up to give you the big wampus. Uh, can you can see his hand? system is going into overdrive, and you very much can. <laughs> he's forever hailed, remember? So, uh, Nara's just spamming the button. So what he's, was he's that about? You betcha. You know, beating me? Currently, I'm, I'm ignoring your friends, and if there's anything I can do, it's going to be taking down just you, if I can. Listen, this is what happens when you mess with the National Wildlife Conservation, all right? <laughs> You you can see and like hear him putting his hand on the mic, like shut it up, shut it up, shut it up. Like he's like he can't turn it off. <laughs> see, you know, if you didn't eradicate this planet of trees and its beautiful lush forest, we wouldn't have to be here to teach you suckers a lesson. <laughs> you can very much tell him just try, like he's he's trying to ignore you and like pilot his mech while he's holding you still, <laughs> and while you're wiggling around, he's like shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, so with that. Roll me fight as he lashes out at you. Both of the chainsaws go into like full, like full overdrive. They're like sparking off. There's like blue and green lightning, like shooting off them as they just full overdrive. And he lashes out at you. Uh, he will use one of those grapples to go up to a nine. He's got a higher modifier. Damn. Uh, do you wish to use any of the, the invokes, Mr. Rider, by the way? He's up to a nine current. How much damage would that be? Four shifts of damage. I'll Which take I it. think you can actually take. Yeah, you can take that. You, you have an open slot. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to take that damage mm -hmm. and I'm like, <laughs> you really think that's going to do anything to me? Yeah, he is. He's very much like, God damn it. He's, he's, you can tell he's fully focused on hurting you and he's ignoring everyone else around him. Uh, is Aldris or Georgiana next? Uh, can I? <laughs> Sounds like Georgiana's next. <laughs> can I Gigi. use one? <laughs> yes. Go. <laughs> Can I no. use my, my sticky grenade to gunk up his gears? Yeah. You very much can. And, and I'd like to, if, if I have to choose like to aim, I'd prefer like a side with two arms. Roll me some shoot. He's not about that. So he'll definitely use one of his scene fate points to bring it up to his X. That means it'll fail, right? Correct. But you can use locked up system to bring it up to his success. 
trying to create more invokes though. All right, I'll use locked up system. All right, so we're basically trading one for one. <laughs> I hate you. All right, so they're like gummed up, gear, better. gummed up gears, basically. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Yas. Yas, queen. All right, we are just stacking up bullshit on this guy. Aldris, what you got, bud? Well, I kind of want to just let them have their duel while I'm annoying. I'll just try to pin him down with more metal. All right. We're just going to keep doing this. There is indeed more metal. You, you could definitely do this a couple more times. Ooh, that means you get two stacks of pinned metal. Perfect. Hell yeah. Awesome. Okay. And the tables are beginning to turn as uh, Aldris, you basically completely unravel one of their ore refining machines and you just start slathering him. He's 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 cutting them out of the air and whatnot, but there's there's, there's too many and he's just being surrounded. Everyone roll me pilot. I don't want to. Oh, God, I don't want to. <laughs> you definitely don't want to. All right. I do believe because so you were out of juice. So that is one shift of damage. I succeeded because I was the first one to roll and my dice didn't touch anybody else's dice. <laughs> if you roll faster. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you roll Wait, faster. I'm sorry, what did you say? Who uh, takes a shift of damage? Aldris takes one. Okay. Oh no, not one. I know, right? As, as the guns oh, begin no to kind of just like you guys are all able to kind of move out of the way, but Aldris is, uh, I will say he's so focused on getting the metal up, he's he's like, this this is worth it. He's this metal is bending right now. Yeah, he's, he's metal focused. bending. All right, Aldris, who's next? Nara. All right, Nara. All right, what's happening with the man, the big guy? The man guy. has goo on his right side, rider in front of him that he is holding. His armor is scratched that rider can take advantage of, and he's being pinned with metal. His systems can be locked up, but he's kind of, you know, maneuvered his way slightly out of that. The gummed up gears. How are they gummed up? Is it literally bubble gum? No, it's marshmallow. I feel like this is false advertising. This is false <laughs> advertising. I'm thinking about how I could use the, the invokes because I'd rather just be done with this. Is <laughs> like, that better? Come on. Like, he has been up for too long. He is violating a whole lot of NWC rules and protections. I mean, giving him all these invokes is going to help uh, Ryder just do a big hit. Yeah. So I guess I'll do locked up system again. All right. Damn. Well, that's not great. Never mind. Not a good look for you. I'm going to be honest. When I see that it doesn't work, can I send him a message? You very much can. Yes. <laughs> is it a video message? Um. No, but it is going to be an audio message okay starts like well it's gonna like roll across his screen like an infomercial okay <laughs> and, it, and it says hello we've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty <laughs> poor man. oh my god <laughs> and uh if he tries to click out of it it'll give him a virus okay He's not doing so good. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, who was next, Nara? All right, let's go to Aldris. Okay. Birdman, what you got? Can I add another aspect on it? You very much can, as long as it makes sense, yeah. Can I, using all the metal that I pinned him down with, kind of weld all that to the floor? So it's oh my even God. more secure? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta, you know, annoy the hell out of this man. He's yeah. not allowed to move. Yeah. Or he's might he might be allowed to move. Okay. <laughs> you didn't roll so well. Uh, I believe that gives you a boost. Or, or, sorry, a free invoke on an existing aspect. Basically, add one more to pin the metal if you want. It won't really matter, but sure. Boop. Alrighty. Uh, you attempt to weld it down, but he's kind of like dragging Ryder with him or trying to because he's also a uh, marshy, mushy man because I have to, you know, we, we don't do false advertising here. So it's, it's, it's not gummed up gears. That, that, could be, that could be bubble gum. He's marshy and he's mushy because marshmallows. You're welcome. Thanks. Anytime. What I'm here for. <laughs> and it's got to be alliteration. Otherwise, I'm. what am I doing? What am exactly. I doing with my life? Okay. He's having an awful time. Just an absolute shit fiesta, if you Good. will. Good. He's destroying <laughs> his home planet, asshole. I know. What a jerk. What an absolute cock. All right. Attempting to ignore the three of you to the best of his ability as you guys are just piling shit and shit and shit and shit on top of him. He's going to lash out again to Ryder. We're only fight. With his chain boys. Oh my Ow. god. Hmm. Husband, please. Spicy. Alright. Um, invokes, invokes. Yes, he's going to use 
the grappled, which brings it to a 10. You can use pinned with metal. It's got three. That one's basically free. I only can use one of them, though, right? You can use each one once if you wish, but this is a defense roll. Keep that in mind. Uh, metal and mushy. All right. Metal and mushy. Give me mushy back. Give me mushy back. Just one. Fine. Okay, just the one? Okay. So that brings you to a five, and that brings him to a ten. Wait. I use, yes, I believe. I use oh, you're not an eight? No, I, I add plus two, so a ten. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, go back to mushy then. Do you want to use scratched armor <laughs> or mushy? Mushy, or... Okay. Well, only yeah, you mushy. can use scratched armor. Use scratched armor? Yeah, because you created that, so only you can mush. use it. Mush. All right, mush it is. Mushy. All right, so that brings you to seven and him to ten, so that's three shifts of damage. Boop. Which is perfect. You can take that. How convenient. Ha. Ryder or Georgiana, who's next? Uh, I'll let Georgiana go. Maybe she can do more hey. mush. Hmm. Indeed, yeah, you, you, can, you can double down the mush. He's starting to get free of it. Actually, Actually. Um, does he have a uh, an entry thing in his armor? Uh, potentially. What are you trying to do? Bubble gum. Bu- bubble gum for damage or the, for... The, the, this is my new favorite attack. We can tell. <laughs> now I want to create an invoke somehow, some way. Okay. I mean, you you have a marshy mushy man. Oh, but bubble gum. You can do bubble gum. I'm not gonna stop you. All right, I'll do I'll do bubble gum on his on his head on his head. Okay. Bubble pop. It's hard to see. He just gets like a pink tint yeah. to everything he sees. Are you shooting this or are you? That's like, how Georgiana looks at things. Are you piling it in? Oh, no. are, you, are you flying by and like dropping the load? I feel like, I, you know how when like, someone puts a bag over someone's head? Yeah. I feel like that's what she's going to do with the bubble gum. I would, I would like to drop a load. Okay. Go ahead and do some pilot Casting. for me then. She's deucing it. Okay. Ew. So is this, an, is this a new aspect? Or are you adding two to Marshman? Uh, I'll do Marshman. All right. So that adds two free aspects to Marshman. As you fly by and just gum this dude's face. He's trying his absolute best who ignore you guys, but it's not working. Ryder, now's your moment. I'm going to hail him again. You're the like, chosen one. <laughs> you have failed this planet, sir. And now you will be served the largest fine. <laughs> he just narrows his eyes and says, you don't know what I've been through. All the invokes. Oh, All the invokes. Okay. <laughs> is your role here? It is freaking here. Hell yes. Okay. So... Uh, one at a time. Marshy Mushman is plus two. And then Scratch Armor, eight. And then Pin with Metal. We have plenty of that. Oh, look at these stacks on stacks on stacks. And plus two because 1v1. Nope, not 1v1. Darn it. Uh, there are other I... people in the room. Yeah, other unfortunately. In the room. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I use nobody here. a point to plus two it? You very much can. That brings you to a friggin' 12. Nice. And well, he already used grapple on you, so we can't use that again. And that is a fair amount of damage, I would say. <laughs> Very nice. More look like at all that bullshit. Unfair. Nah, just a flesh wound. Look at look at all that bullshit. That's beautiful. Five shifts of damage actually puts him at here and here. So at this point, you can tell he borderline cannot take any more damage. You're you're gonna. He's not out. Uh, you get to add a moderate consequence, Ryder. What will it be? I want to cut the gone. one that's grabbing me. You want to cut the one that's grabbing you, both of them? Yeah. All right. I'll just say no more baby arms because they were little arms. No, not the baby arms. No more baby arms. I'm sorry. They were T-Rex arms? They're basically, they're basically really long T-Rex arms, yeah. Uh, they're you not know? real T-Rex arms if they're long. Yeah, well, they're, they're skinny like T-Rex arms, though, so. But it's basically, not the same. It's not the Fake, thing, you right. get it wrong. He, he deserves wrong. it. <laughs> Na- Nara, Nara, yep. Can you make my mech look like a T Rex? Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Can I do a crafty helper? <laughs> <laughs> right now. I mean, that is the, the whole mech. <laughs> that is the craftiest of helpers. You guys can tell he's on his absolute last limb. He's about to go down, and I want him to just get scared. I mean, by seeing the T Rex. Do you want to roll some? Some T-Rex terrifying yeah. aura for Georgiana. Yeah, you know, I'll, why not? Yeah, roll it. <laughs> okay, say so you have a you have a metal aura. I have a Rex aura. Yeah. 
<laughs> All of that extra metal floating around the room, Nara is able to like mold it around you, Georgiana, so you look very T Rex like. Beautiful. Is that That's what you want? Using wanted? magnets, by the way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pure science. Pure. This is purely science. <laughs> this is one hundred percent. 190% pure science. Metal Rex aura. <laughs> Everyone, make me another pilot roll. This time we need to beat a three. I don't wanna. If you're being real cruel to five. us. Five. This is, this is his last one. Three, five. Ooh. Oh, actually, the dice do bump into each other. They do, yeah. It doesn't <gasps> actually change the It, it doesn't change the think. outcome, but they do bump into each other. What do you mean? It, it was. Huh? It's sitting sideways. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't change the outcome, but they bump yeah. into each other. Like, Alrighty. they visually bump into each other, but yeah. it's still the same roll. All right. I bet right, dice get stuck on the wrong number and still roll something different. So, Ryder, uh, basically this means for you, you take a minor consequence, and you get to clear all your stress. Your I'll nanomachines... All along. Hmm, your nanomachines activate. After all the guns burst off, you can tell they are firing at full capacity now. They are trying to gun you guys down. After Nara That's makes nice. Georgiana a wonderful T-Rex, uh, who gets to go next, Nara? Can I look at uh, Homeboy and, like, as my, like, whatever damage I had, it just, like, you know, the nanobots start to repair, and I'm going to mm -hmm. look at him and be like, all that effort, and for what? Nothing. You can tell that actually kind of threw him for a loop for a second. He, he thought he was damaging nice. you, but he can, he can see your mech slowly repairing itself. Georgiana, what are you going to do? You have your Rex aura, you have Mushy, you have Roar. Pin of Metal. You know he's <laughs> one step from death. I'm going to roar, stomp around, and um, chomp. Is that pilot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is attack, yes? Yeah, it's attack. Yes, I use pilot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. He tries to pilot his way out of that. Uh, he is unable to do so, as you are so Rexy and so fast. And knowing that he is on his absolute final legs, I highly doubt you guys are going to let him live. Is this a kill? Uh, yeah. All right. He's going to crunch down real hard. With Georgiana moving in to take this big <laughs> bad boy out, uh, Ryder, Aldris, and Nara, you guys are basically getting a four-man team finisher, uh, starting with Nara. What are we doing? Just, just, just narrate. No rolls. Just narrate what you're doing to take this guy out. I want to open up the line of communication. Okay. This is going to be a, a murder by words. No, no. no. Okay. And I want to turn the video on so he, he can see me. He can see you. And His I, head is banged up against like the side and you can see there's, there's blood trails running down and he's like sweaty and looks like manic. Oh, man. I don't know. You should just uh, send the send through the, the fines through his comp. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking send about. Send the paperwork through. Like, um... Uh, Sending the file over for all the fines as they've racked up. You're just invoicing across... him? <laughs> yeah, so I'm invoicing him for the fines. Okay. And then um, they're going to be racking up like on the screen so that he can see each one. And then since I said that the fine earlier was death, that's what the receipt's going to say. Okay. <laughs> so you can just see his screen being covered in all these just bullshit fines, all these numbers. They're just scrolling. He's trying to like rapidly close them. And this is distracting him. Uh, while Aldris, I'm just gonna keep pinning him down with more metal. Okay, <laughs> just, cool. Honestly, just keep pulling it off the ceiling and welding more stuff to him. Until he perfect. Goes. Yeah, you're 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 melding it around him, and I would say by this point he's like trying to move and get up, but you've actually like welded his legs because he's so big and stocky. You've actually like welded his legs down to the ground, and he's one knee is down, the other leg is like trying to pull himself back up. But you like slap a huge slab of metal onto him, and he's oh, he buckles down again, and he's like holding Georgiana as her big dino teeth are like crunching down. He's dropped the other, uh, both chainsaws at this point. He's he's trying to hold a, hold her up. He only has the the two big beefy arms, and they both like blast off as these like cannons where his uh, elbows are. She kind of shoot off to hold her back, but he can't. As you are just slapping on and on and on and on and on, and like we'll, we'll say uh, some of the metal like covers up the boosters on his arms to power him up. And he begins like glowing red. You can see like, the whole mech uh, shaking. Ryder, what do you do? So Gigi's on him. All just is holding him down. Yeah. I can see his cockpit, right? Yeah, effectively, yeah. Uh, I, well, okay. Gigi, are, are you crushing it with your teeth? Yeah, but I'm probably doing it sideways. So I imagine he can see inside the cockpit. So I get like close as I can with my mech. And I jump out of my mech. 
and like boost myself over to his cockpit. I kind of like tap on his window with my metal hand and I'm like, see, when you say you're going to beat me and then this happens, it looks really embarrassing. And I'm going to rear back with my fist with my metal hand and just like turn it into a spike hand and just like shatter the glass. And then I'm going to pull back my hand again. Like he's freaking out at this point. Glass is all over him. He's bleeding and shit. And then like with one final sweep, as I pull my hand back, I pull my sword out and just like bury it deep into his chest. Question. Are you using yeah. a spike on your metal arm? Or are you using the plant spike that you were given? Let's go with plant spike. I think that'd be cooler. So that grows rapidly and ravels around your arm and basically gives you effectively a giant bamboo spear on your arm over over your metal arm, of course. And then you do exactly just that. And as Ryder is doing this, are you, are you, are you jumping off the mech while Gigi's going to rip it in half, basically? Yeah, I'll jump off before she does that. Okay. And then cutting over to Gigi, finish her move. Crunch. And? <laughs> crunch. And <then> crunch. <laughs> arm wiggle. Your arms? T Rex arm. The tiny, the tiny T Rex arm. <laughs> yeah. The arms are just going? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is, is this an excitement or are you like building something up? It's excitement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did, did you just like grab them like, uh, grab them, like sideways? And just. You know, like the, that scene in the Star Wars where they're in the trash pit and the walls are just going. Grrr. These are my teeth. So. Squish. I love the sound effects. <laughs> Horrifying. <laughs> Do you not see that she has rock aura? <laughs> because Gigi is just that powerful. Truly. A god amongst gods. Alrighty. And with all those shenanigans, his mech is torn, smashed, explodes. Ryder has extracted the juice from the inside. AKA the man, the pilot. <laughs> the man? The man that was doing his thing. With that, you guys have... Yes? Ever again. You roar again, what's it sound like? Um Is it is it all metallic or is it like GG roaring? It's metallic. Like like an actual dinosaur? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> I, I imagine I can probably, you know, what you do like the plates, you know, that you hate on the chuck on a on board, on a blackboard. Yeah. With this you know, the ski. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Oh, nails on a chalkboard? Yeah. Oh, the worst noise. Okay, yeah. <laughs> just all my hair is just standing up. <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, like, I could probably do that with some, like, chunks of metal for the the sound. Yeah, exactly. If, if anyone is here that's not in your team, all their hair, if they have hair, is standing up. I don't know. I think my teammate's hair might stand up, too. Maybe. Unless someone yeah. likes it, then they're a monster. Uh, <laughs> can I give her, like, magic googly eyes? <laughs> on her T-Rex back. Do you, do you tell her she has these? Nope. I don't approve of this. Excellent. Two That's massive... why I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and she can't see them from inside. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Massive, giant, googly eyes on the exterior of your metal Rex aura. And as you're kind of Beautiful. wriggling your arms and roaring in defiance, the little, like, bead is, like, bouncing around really goofily. Mm -hmm. And it I'm looks gonna look at every... I'm going to look at everybody and be like, good job, team. We destroyed this group, guys. Go, yeah. team. Go, team. Go, team. And uh, looking ahead, you guys see that there is indeed a room beyond the glass, but we'll have to see what's in it next week. All right. All right.